I usually, that usually happens. Mike usually jumps on the turntables and up for everybody. <laughs> Pick an actual moment that was like the suckiest moment for me this year would probably be uh, kicking a door and feeling the pain of my bones <laughs> snap. <laughs> that would then take uh, two months on tour to recover, and I still have to limp. Uh, and so that was that sucked pretty bad. I, I don't kick doors anymore. <laughs> I would say the thing is the fact that um, I've been married for five years and I've been on the road for almost two of those years. That sucks to me. But, oh well. It's the price we pay for the games we play. You know what I mean? There's, there's a sacrifice in every situation. And uh, I figured I'm spending more time, more quality time now because it's better than working nine to five, getting home at seven o'clock after rush hour, making dinner and going to bed by 10. You get three good solid hours in there. That sucks even worse to me. So. Um, there's, a, there's, there's still the positive side to that too. I think my favorite haircut of this year it was the red mohawk. I think the simple fact that people are so fascinated with the fact that I actually get haircuts, that's, that's the big thing right people there. People are like upset, right? When yeah, I mean, I'll show, up, I'll show up, I'll get my haircut, and people are like, why did you do that? I'm like, because I felt like it, dude. Give me a break. My favorite haircut of this year was really short. Hair, haircut and the goatee <laughs> <laughs> and the mustache <laughs> I actually changed uh, my facial hair and I shaved right here so if you guys are really like on point I didn't, I didn't pick up on yeah I was a little you know nervous about making the change but uh nobody's yelled at him yet what happened to your soul patch <laughs> Looking back on it, you know, starting in the, the really small clubs when we were unloading the trailer ourselves, we had all our road cases, we'd wheel them in, set up our stage. Playing play for free show, just because yeah. there was people there? Playing for nothing, <laughs> just to play in front of 50 or 75 people, taking after the show, loading all our gear up, loading it in, and then driving, you know, trading off each, with each other, driving to the next city. It's kind of just... At that point, we didn't have any press to do. Nobody was interested in us. They didn't care. <laughs> we wanted to like we wanted to do some press and and talk to some people and get our name out there. At that point, now and we've then, got buses and we don't want to do press. And it's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, the final outcome of that. But it's just grown over the year from going to playing bigger venues to having more buses and a bigger I crew kick and, out of that and one. more stuff to do. It's just our days are pretty packed now. Um, we don't have to load our gear anymore, but we have to do you know anywhere from two to five interviews going on within the band a day, and the, there's a whole big production going on here, and a lot of stuff that we like to stay involved with and oversee everything from our business to our merchandise to our whole production and everything. So it's gotten really busy over the past few years, and we're definitely looking forward to getting home and taking a rest because we've been traveling so much over the past 16, 17 months that. It's gonna be. It's gonna feel weird staying in one place for more than a couple of weeks. They say like certain people, if they, I don't have this problem, thank God. But like, they say some people who travel, you know, over their whole career so much in buses, who are used to sleeping with the bus moving, have a hard time actually adjusting to sleeping in a normal bed with with it's stationary. Yeah, I think our biggest ambition is to do the next record and hope that it doesn't suck. Um, it's just up to the critics that really, that, that I think that's really going to be the biggest change is I think a lot of people that gave us a lot of flack on this record may be turning around and give us not as much flack on the next record and maybe the people that really enjoy this one might give us a little bit more flack on the next one. It's really just about are we going to be happy with it, you know, because at this point who gives a sh you know what I mean? So hopefully we'll make a record that we're, we're, we are really proud of. And if we up the, on the second album, we'll make up for it on the third one, I promise.